Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, sisters. Thank you for being with Chemistry. My name is Penelope. Today, we're going to be talking about the Sun Mother, the Sun God Mother. This is a juicy topic. I can't wait to share what I found with you uh, and how the ancestors work in all of this. It's like these little uh, little crumbs follow uh, when you're following spirit. So I'm gonna share, share that experience with you here today. I want you to watch this video where, I think this is a Malachi York supporter. She talks about the sun woman. I want you to review that, look at that, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna break that down and give more insights to you about it. So don't hold that knowledge to, to heart. I want you to watch what she says. And then as I give my review, I want you to keep an open mind, okay? So we'll come back and we'll watch that. And then we'll come back and then I'll break some more things down for you. 54 billion years ago. They grow the Negroid race here first. They became known as the overseers, the watchers. They built many ancient lands and structures on this planet, which in time they deserted. The Riskians send little creatures called greys from Zeta in Orion's belt every 10 years to check on their children with whom they mix their DNA into nine species of the Negroid race only. They first came to me at age nine in New Jersey to set up a land, Nuwapia, for a landing site for your ancestors to return and lift those of you who have perfected their beings, cleans inside out and outside in. Your DNA as males is from Orion your DNA as females is from Sirius star systems. And the grays from Zeta beneath Orion's three suns or the sun belt. So in fact, so in actual fact, the African race are of divine origin and are in fact children of the overseers. This is seen as a bacteria implanted in your genetics as homin, hominid genome, as was done by the overseers from Orion and Sirius. Your carbon C6 base form, as black as coal, grow from H1, H, C, C, O, N7, O8, 1, plus 2, plus 6, plus seven, plus eight equals 24. Hydrogen equals one. Helium equals two. Carbon equals six. Nitrogen equals seven. Oxygen equals eight. In all, 24. There has been uncovered 223 extraterritorial genes in your 24,000 genomes that travel in sets of three on the genes. So they in fact implanted some of their own DNA into your own. You are encoded as divine. Black matter equals 24%. Black energy equals 76%. Dark energy is expanding. Dark matter is being pulled as the universe speeds up to freeze. The planet Earth, or the water world, is moving at a speed of 135 miles per second. You have been hypnotized 6,000 years ago by witches of the... You have been hypnotized 6,000 years ago by witches of the cursed evil seed of Enos, son of Seth, son of Adam, made by falling ones of Anakim, Anunnaki, called Elohim, Alihat in the Bible, and the Quran. The Anunnaki used the Pleiadians' DNA to graft and make Adamites 
to Canaanites. To Can Canaanites. Their seeds was grafted, made and born 3761 BCE or 4004 BC, as they record and was only given 6,000 years to enforce their hypnotic spell of sleep over you, which expires 2000 to 2003 AD, which is 6000 AC. AC is Adam's calendar. This is the gospel from the beginnings of beginnings. This is from the beginnings, which we have seen, which we have looked at and watched and have taught humans are the only creatures that know they will one day die. This has affected human thinking as the birth of fear. Don't let others pause your death before your physical or mental time. Fear came with uncertainty or that led to faith and beliefs that became religions of beliefs to hopes and desires. This I Yanun proclaim concerning you and your life as Nuwapians. Life is both physical and spiritual. It appears we see them in actions and testifies to them. I Yanun proclaim to you the eternal soul, which or who is connected to the omniverse from the universe and has manipulated through us here on physical earth. So I proclaim to you what you can see and hear so that you also may have links to all as all of you, the all. Know this, left brain is male power analytical and right brain is female images. These two must become one perfection of thinking and doing energy in motion or emotional beings, soul. This is the symbol of the braid worn on the left or the right side by the holder of the double helix of the mitochondria DNA of female or M other, mother of us both. And the male wears his braid in the back to relate to the back of the medulla, medulla oblongata. Yet both mother and father, male and female, need to connect and use the frontal lobe of the brain and the pineal gland. This is a part of my message to you. You have heard from above and is declared to you. Intellect, do not become blinded by the brightness of white light of confusion and chaos. There is no light inside your being. Light is blinding, it is blindness or faith. Not intelligent or intelligence of fact. Even the Bible and the Quranic God dwell in darkness. Then said, let there be light and with the light came chaos. If you claim you have actual facts in the universe. Okay, so you heard what she said. I'm going to break that down a little bit more here. Because a lot of what she says, there's still a lot of gaps being left out of here. That's why I say if a man... She is getting this story. Again, she's a Malachi York follower. And I'm not knocking any of his work. That's not what I'm doing here. I am showing you, because this is a divine feminine planet. I'm not going to change that. That's what this is. This is a divine feminine planet. There was feminine females here on this planet here first we have a, a cosmic link to planet earth i've already showed you this so when we have these men coming in trying to present something be very careful okay because that is not the nature of spirituality. It is not. That's why you'll see some issues always come up with them when they try to lead. They cannot embody this energy here. They're not originally from here. I have already explained that, but I'm going to break this down to you billion years ago they grow the negroid race here first they became known as the overseers the watchers they built many ancient lands and structures on this planet which in time they deserted the riskians send little creatures called greys from zeta in 
Now, these were the hominids that were put here. Okay, these were these individuals that were put here, these alien, they were dark people. They were dark people. We're not, we're not, we're not even refuting that. We're not even refuting that. What we're refuting is that this XY species is not originally from here. That is the dispute. We're not disputing what color they are and how they looked. We know they looked, they were dark skinned people. We know they were Aborigines. We know they were, what color they was, okay? Orion's belt every 10 years to check on their children with whom they mix their DNA into nine species of the Negroid race only. They first came to me at age nine in New Jersey to set up a land, Nuwapia, for a landing site for your ancestors to return and lift those of you who have perfected their beings, cleans inside out and outside in. Your DNA as males is from Orion. Your DNA as females is from Sirius stars. Now, this is where it gets messed up. It's, uh, see, he says the male DNA is from somewhere else. It is not from here. Now, I don't know if it's from Orion. I know it's not from here. Now, it makes sense about Sirius, Isis Aset, because she started out, she began as a star, and she is associated with the star Sirius. You can see evidence of that. We have evidence of that. This Orion, I'm not going to speak into that. I am going to stay with the divine feminine because that, that right there, I know for a fact, it was okay so you see the splitting it starts off here so to for me again this man dr malachi is telling this story and when men tell stories you know things get blurred we have seen that with patriarchy but i digress let's keep going systems and the grays from zeta beneath orion's three suns or the sun belt so in fact so in actual fact the african race are of divine origin and are in fact children of the overseers this is seen as a bacteria implanted in your genetics as homin hominid genome as was done by the overseers from Orion and Sirius. Now she says, oh, Orion and Sirius. No, again, the females were here first. They were originally here first. They were already cosmic being exploring the universe. Now they may have come in contact with these beings. Again, you remember uh, Billy Carson talked about these beings. You can still see that story in there. I'm sorry, you guys. I am autistic and I have ADHD. Uh, it's also a superpower of mine. I see the patterns here. I hear the patterns in the story here. So again, this is Dr. Malachi's story. You see her look up. You know, even with that look, she, I, I, that look to me look like, I don't know. You know, I don't know. After she says that, that looked like, I'm not really sure. So let's keep looking, but let's keep listening. But again, I can see, for me, again, it still confirms the story of Billy Carson of the XY gene not even coming from here, not even originally from this planet. Now, it does make sense for us, I see the female beings to come from Sirius because that has been recorded uh, up on the walls in our temples and stuff. So, and we can trace our, our, all the way back to the Sibyls. We can trace it all the way back. So we've, we've been here, the, the, the mitochondrial mother 
has been here for quite a long time before these beings even came on the scene. So let's keep going. Your carbon C6 base form as black as coal grow from H1, H, C, C, O, N7, O8, 1 plus 2 now, plus 6 plus 7. Plus like, why are we going into all these codes? You know what I'm saying? Um, again, I feel like that's to throw you off. That's to throw you off from the, the truth here. Uh, you know, I'm just like, why? Why? Why not go on and just, just tell us what it is? Why go on with all of this? So it, it sounds like, I don't know, some somebody trying to rationalize something or not accepting something that the XX chromosome is the um is the originator of everything so that's what this sounds like to me when you hear her repeating what dr malachi wrote i think this was this is what he wrote wrote but let's keep listening plus eight equals 24. hydrogen equals one helium equals two carbon equals six nitrogen equals seven oxygen equals eight in all 24. there has been uncovered 223 extraterritorial genes in your 24,000 genomes that travel in sets of three on the genes so they in fact implanted some of their own dna into your own you are encoded as divine Black matter equals 24%. Black energy equals 76%. Dark energy is expanding. Dark matter is being pulled as the universe speeds up to freeze. The planet Earth or the water world is moving at a speed of 135 miles per second. You have been hypnotized 6,000 years ago by witches of... Now, that's that's important that she says 6,000 years ago. Isn't that something she says 6,000 years ago? Because that's when patriarchy, these men were given rule over us. They look just like me and you. They look just like me and you. Okay? That's when this other... Uh, uh, this other species start to change, which we call Caucasian people. And, and th their species, the XY chromosome, <laughs> let's get this right, the XY chromosome is the one created these species. And to look at the XY chromosome, we have to go back to Samaria, we have to go back to the Moors, where I've pointed that out there. They are the ones who went into Rome and civilized it. And then you have these people coming out. I've talked about this. So that's where you see patriarchy begins to take its strong hold. And racism is being basically born a little bit after that. But for those 6,000 years, not only are you seeing uh racism these these different cult these different people that don't look like us come on the scene but you also seeing a lot of these matriarch cultures being overthrown let's keep that in mind if you have been hypnotized six thousand years ago by witches of the cursed evil seed of enos son of seth son of adam made by falling ones of Anakim, Anunnaki, or Elohim, Alihat in the Bible and the Quran. The Anunnaki used the Pleiadians' DNA to graft and make Adamites to Canaanites to Can Canaanites. Their seeds was grafted, made and born 3761 BCE, or 4,000.
4004 BC. As they record, and was only given 6,000 years to enforce their hypnotic spell of sleep over you, which expires 2000 to 2003 AD, which is 6,000 AC. AC is Adam's calendar. This is the gospel from the beginnings of beginnings. This is from the beginnings, which we have seen, which we have looked at and watched and have taught humans are the only creatures that know they will one day die. This has affected human thinking as the birth of fear. Don't let others cause your death before your physical or mental time. Fear came with uncertainty, or that led to faith and beliefs that became religions of beliefs to hopes and desires. This I, Yanun, proclaim concerning you and your life as you walk in. Life is both physical and spiritual. It appears we see them in actions and testifies to them. I, Yanun, proclaim to you the eternal soul, which or who is connected to the omniverse from the universe and has manipulated through us here on physical earth. So I proclaim to you what you can see and hear so that you also may have links to all as all of you, the all. Know this. Left brain is male power analytical, and right brain is female images. These two must become one, perfection of thinking and doing energy in motion, or emotional beings, soul. This is the symbol of the braid worn on the left or the right side by the holder of the double helix of the mitochondria DNA, of female or M other, mother of us both. And the male wears his braid in the back. See, that should have been the end of it right there. And then I feel like that should have been the end of it right there. And then explaining where the male originally comes from, how he could not reproduce himself. See, she has it here that we reproduce twins and there were hermaphrodites and things like that. That is not totally accurate. Okay, she just skipped all over the parthenogenesis as well. Now, I don't know if this is her story, if this is Malachi York's story that she's telling. Don't know. But again, we skip all over parthenogenesis. And we got into her Murphydites and all that. Interesting, isn't it? It's very interesting. So, again, keep an open mind here when you are... A lot of this information, she says, it is accurate. But again, the delivery of it, the delivery of it when it comes to the divine mother is not being properly presented here. I don't know who got this information here, but when they're breaking down the DNA, for me, it sounds like to me that, you, that you're hiding that, breaking that down, knowing that the XX, chromosome was here first and again i think this is men's way of hijacking this as well and i understand that a lot of us are still programmed with a lot of this patriarchy and it is hard for us to unpeel that and see ourselves it was hard for me when the uh when the divine mother the great mother was showing me this information but i obeyed and i i, I wrote about i wrote about this and i've uh I'm constantly having topics on it. So let's keep going. I just had, you know, I have to get on my soapbox and tell my side, you guys. To relate to the back of the medulla, the medulla oblongata. Yet both mother and father, male and female, need to connect and use the frontal lobe of the brain and the pineal gland. This is a part of my message to you. You have heard from above and is declared to you. Intellect, do not become blinded by the brightness of white light of confusion and chaos. There is no light inside your being. Light is blinding. It is blindness or faith. Not intelligent or intelligence of fact. Even the Bible and the Quranic God dwell in darkness. Then said, let there be light. And with the light came chaos. If you claim you have actual facts, neighbors. 54 billion years ago. Okay, well, we saw. You saw it for yourself. I'm going to dive in again. I'm going to talk about the book I wrote. 
um, Christ consciousness, you are Christ. And how I talked about this, it's, 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 it's astounding to me how the ancestors bring stuff full circle and what was being downloaded in my spirit. It was very, I was very passionate about it now about it. And I didn't know this was going to come up as a topic again, but now I have to come back in here as a topic and show you who is the sun mother, which we talked about who was the sun, where was the moon, where we think the sun comes from. There's been plenty of theories, but in my research, when I was doing my Christ consciousness research and writing my book, Christ consciousness, I found more information. So let's jump into that and let's see what it's talking about. Okay, you got a chance to hear my review and my insights on the information and fill in some gaps for you and help you understand what was going on, what was being said there, and what I felt like was distorted or omissions that was going on there. Now, in my book, Christ Consciousness, I broke that down eight or nine years ago, and now it's coming full circle again. You know, it's, it's something how the ancestors work with you when that you start getting downloads, write them down. They may not make sense then. They may, you know, go against what everybody else is teaching at that time. It may not even make sense. Write it down. That's what I did. Now I'm having to come back uh, around and come back to this. But I have a whole section in this book called Sun Godmother. See that? Sun Godmother. Yes. And, uh, and this is on page with 37. And I break that all down uh, for you to let you know where it comes from. That she was very correct about uh, the serious star Isis being connected with that. You know, I go into more details about this on my Patreon. If you're interested in knowing more about the Sun Mother, I open it's a more open discussion. So if you you know join me on Patreon because there is a longer discussion about the sun woman or the sun mother there but it is here in this book and I, I i connect all all the dots here for you letting you know that all these sun gods come from a sun mother they could not exist without her just like uh Aset was actually the throne for men to come in through her body was the vessel for the first man to come through the xy chromosome to come through so they couldn't have and so a lot of this is being distorted but you can get my book christ consciousness uh, i talk about that in here about how those sun mothers uh were there in egypt and they when the patriarchs came over you got Ra and all of them overshadowing segment and all of them but I've also discussed it here on this, uh, on the YouTube channel too, if you want to go back and watch some of my videos. Okay. But you can, uh, if you're interested in knowing more, join me on Patreon. You'll get the full scoop. Thanks for being here with me today. Light, love, namaste, ashe, love one.